What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. It is August 9th and yesterday the Giants got a win. That was an actual win. Like they beat and swept the A's in the two game series. But I mean, no offense to the A's, that is the A's. So the thing about the A's is that they are not doing good. So the Giants should have won those games. Well, now they were going against the Padres who are very good and have a very good lineup. They have Josh Bell. They have... Brandon Drury, they have Juan Soto, they have Manny Machado, they're going to get Tatis, but he wasn't there yet, and then they had Blake Snell, the pitcher, so the Giants, even with that good of a lineup, ended up going ahead and just making it a shutout, and it ended up beating them by a final score, ready for it? They finally won a one to nothing game. That is just impressive, and the ninth inning was really impressive. Usually in these type of games, I'll get kind of bored because there's no offense going on. It's only like defense or pitching. Well, in this game, I was definitely very involved because of how the Giants were playing. They were finally playing good, and they were the Giants that I know and remember. They still struggled with scoring with runners and scoring position, but even with that, the Giants ended up doing a good job and had it with the bases loaded in the fourth inning and nobody out. At least they didn't ground into double play, but they went ahead and had a fly out by Tyro Estrada, and then that was a sack fly that made the run runners advance and made the runner from third base go to home base or home plate sorry about that I don't know why I said home bit but you know that that's a good job by the Giants and scoring with the runner in scoring position that was the deciding factor somehow the final score was one to nothing Tyra Shada did a good job and a really great job in the seventh inning it was the shortstop I believe and it was Han Song Kim ended up hitting a triple and it was way into the corner and I thought for sure Brandon Drury tried scoring from first base and he almost succeeded the Giants ended up challenging the initial call was safe but I mean it was definitely one of the best defensive plays that I've seen from the Giants in a while and it just was great Luis Gonzalez had picked it up threw it to the shortstop Brandon Crawford who threw it to home to Joey Bart on a one hop, which on a one hop to Joey Bart, who's the catcher, that's really hard as a catcher. It's hard with just a mitt in, or a glove in general, but to have a catcher's mitt that only is meant for padding like a 103 mile an hour fastball, you know, you're not used to something like that happening to you where you have a short hop. So you have to try and get those and you don't have the netting in the back. You just have all that padding. And it was a great job by Joey Bart holding on to that tag or holding on to that ball and making the tag. So just a great job by Joey Bart. And he is definitely getting really hot right now. He had a walk and a single in this game. So he did pretty well. I think he went one for two with a walk, I believe. So a great job by Joey Bart again, and please stay hot because if we want it or have any chance of going to the playoffs, I think that Joey Bart will contribute a lot into this. So hopefully he does stay hot, and you know at the catcher's position, it's pretty hard right now for the Giants. They can't really find a established catcher. Kirk Casale now isn't even in the franchise anymore he went to another franchise he went to the Seattle Mariners so he's gone from the Giants so we have Austin wins and we have Joey Bart and you know I feel that's a pretty good catcher lineup in general they still both have to work on hitting but you know Joey Bart and Austin win both at least they're making contact and especially Joey Bart ever since he got called back up he has definitely changed that swing and Last time before he was called up, he or er, he was hitting 158 or 156, one of those when he needed to get brought back down to AAA in Sacramento. When he got brought back up, he is hitting over 280, and his strikeout rate is down about 15%. It used to be, I think, 48, and now it is a 32% strikeout rate. So that is very good for Joey Bart, and I'm glad to see that. And he's going to be my player of the game. I want to give it to Tyro Shada, but, you know, I just got to keep giving these player of the games to Joey Bart because he... Every time he's in the game, he is making something that is really big in this game. 
In this case, he went ahead and caught that short hop that could have been thrown a little bit better by Brandon Crawford, but still a really good throw by Brandon Crawford. And for him to hold on to that and make the tag play, like I said, it was initially called safe, but then the call got overturned and Padres fans started throwing stuff onto the field. What are you doing, Padres fans? And Jerks and Profar is saying that Giants fans are the worst throwing balls at him after he chucked one into the stand. Well, it, look at your own fans, Jerkson. I mean, there, there's a, all these fans throwing stuff out into the outfield because they're mad at the umps. It wasn't the umps' fault. They called it safe initially, but the Giants, if you want to throw it at anyone, throw it at the New York people. I don't know how you're going to do that. Go catch a plane and do a four-and-a-half-hour flight over to New York and go throw it at them because it wasn't the umpire's fault. It was the New York people that called it and I thought it was going to be way too close to overturn but they made the right call in the end and I'm just really glad that they were able to do it and that probably saved the game because then you're looking at a runner at third base with one out and the game is tied all you need is a sack fly and now the Giants are down two to one so with all that being said I thank you guys so much for watching this video please run to like and subscribe Go Giants, a great win. I don't expect them to win any more games against the Padres. I think they are very lucky and played very well. But, you know, hopefully they can win at least one more. But I'm not going to hold my breath. Once again, go Giants, and I will see you guys tomorrow.